said after the game, quote, I think we've got the best offense in the NFL, but they may have lost Will Fuller for the season with a torn ACL. So, Shannon, how far can the Texans go? Um, I believe they'll win the division. They'll get a home playoff game. But the thing is, Kip, they're going to either probably end up playing Pittsburgh, the Ravens, or the Chargers. All of those teams pose a serious, serious threat to the Houston Texans mm-hmm. because we don't know which team we're going to get on a given Sunday. Um, we're going to get this team, Deshaun Watson, five touchdowns. He had more touchdown passes than incompletion. The defense is what's puzzling to me, Skip, is because when you have a defense in the front seven, you have J.J. Watt, three-time defensive player of the year. We have Jadavian Clowney, the number one overall pick, who's a Pro Bowl, All-Pro player. And you have Witten Merciless, who's a double-digit sack guy. Mm-hmm. You would think they would get more hits on the quarterback. They would create more havoc, more pressure on the quarterback. And I don't see it. There are stretches, and you're like, bruh, is J.J. Watt in the game? Is Clowney in the game? Is Mercy? You're, you're the one who loves J.J. Watt. Oh, I, I still think he's, he's unbelievable. Now, he'll flash from time to time. You saw him last night. He, he did. He'd swim, and he'd mm-hmm. catch you napping, and he'll get you. But I just don't think consistently, and I think the teams that they could possibly face, the Chargers, look, they're not going to face the Dolphins. You and you nor I thought the Dolphins were as good as their 3-0 and record indicated. I know what Ryan Tannehill is. I've been known what Brock Osweiler was. Mm-hmm. And so I was never bought into them. Yep. But the Chargers pose a serious threat offensively. The Steelers, we know what they represent offensively. And even the Ravens, Skip, we haven't seen a Joe Flacco throw the ball like this in the regular season. Now, he's playing like postseason Joe Flacco. Mm-hmm. That's a serious problem. And we know what the Ravens do defensively. So, and Chargers will get Mm -hmm. uh, Joey Bosa back. How far can they go? I believe they'll win this division. You win your division, you get a home playoff game. If they match up with one of those teams, if they were to draw one of those teams, I do not believe they'll advance to the divisional round of the playoffs. Mm. So, I said this yesterday, and I'm going to double down on it. I think the Houston Texans are becoming a legitimate threat in the AFC. And it's a legitimate threat not just to the best of the rest, but they could become a legitimate threat, I believe, to the two who are in the league of their own, New England and Kansas City. You believe that? The only drawback, as we just heard from Alex, is that Will Fuller suffered what appeared to be a torn ACL. That's what they think it is on on a play that... It shouldn't have been. It didn't look that dangerous. It's the deep ball that falls incomplete. And I don't know what happened. You know how sometimes you just jam your yep. leg in the ground and it just doesn't hit right or something. And he just went down without really much contact and is holding his knee. And I'm like, what happened? First I thought, did he cramp or mm-hmm. no? No, he tore his ACL. So that's a big loss because that that uh, he's that deep the, threat over the top. Yeah, he he is. But but they got the other guy is just unbelievably good. Oh, the other, hey, <laughs> that hey. catch, Skip. You got to give him that, Skip. You got to pick the flag up. You got to let him have that catch. Yeah. And Kiki Cutie was out last night with a hamstring, so he's got to come back strong for them to continue to roll like this because they don't have a tight end who's even a factor. Mm-mm. But they can run it a little bit. Yeah. With Lamar Miller and Alfred, Alfred Blue. Blue, correct. And the quarterback is really, really good. I have loved, as you know, Deshaun since he was – since he took Alabama to the wire twice, mm-hmm. beat, him, beat him the second time. And just on him and him alone, they're going to be a factor. And I'll just say this. I still like Deshaun even more than I like Baker Mayfield. You know how much I like Baker Mayfield? Yeah. Okay. I think wow. Cleve, Cleveland would be even better if they had picked Deshaun over right. Baker. I think they're going to be just great with, with Baker. But this, this kid is even better. He's, he's just got that it factor, that playmaking factor, that toughness. Under pressure, he had a 99 QBR last night, which tied for the best of the year so far. I know it's just the Dolphins, but these— Well, how do you get 100 QBR? I'm, I'm, I'm uh, interested. Can you get 100? I've never seen— well, Have anybody— had, He had what? Four incompletions four and five touchdowns. I don't know. I've never heard of 100. I haven't either. <laughs> okay. So the Houston Texans play what's rated the third easiest closing schedule. That's the last place by, schedule from yeah, what he finished last year. By the year. way, the Patriots have the fourth easiest, and the Chiefs have the fifth easiest, so that ain't happening— but I'm looking at this schedule, and, and I could see the Texans just continuing to roll. Again, Will Fuller's a big loss, but if yeah. they can figure that out with Cutie coming back, 
They, they go at Broncos. I think they can win that. At Redskins is tough, but they, they could beat the Redskins. Then Titans, Browns, Colts, at Jets, at Eagles is tough, but I, I wouldn't doubt it. And then Jaguars. It's just not that hard of a closing schedule. No. Could, could they go 12-4 and four or yeah. even, dare yeah. I say, 13-3? and three? Right. Well, then they're going to get one home playoff game. They're not going to get the bye right. because the other two are just league of their own. Right. But you're going to get a home playoff game against the, the best of the rest. As you say, Chargers, Steelers, Ravens. I'm thinking, unless yes. it comes out of nowhere. Correct. But could they beat them at home? Yeah. With Deshaun? Deshaun can beat anybody right. anywhere. You, you saw what he did last year against Tom Brady. If they were to play any of those teams at home, Skip, they will not get the home favorite liking. Yeah. They wouldn't be the automatic minus three. Mm -mm. That might be a one. That might be a one and a half point. Uh -huh. That might even come down to a pick 'em ball game. Yep. Because they will have so much respect for the other team, especially the because you're looking at the quarterbacks. All these quarterbacks are battle tested. Now, Philip Rivers hasn't won a, a Super Bowl like Joe Flacco and, and, and uh, Ben Roethlisberger, mm -hmm. but he's been there. He's a proven. He's a proven commodity. He's a yep. big time player. So. That's the problem that they will have. Now, they play in that division. That division isn't very good. Mm -hmm. let, let, let's be all, all the way right. fair. All right. So they're they got that. Good. Yes. So they're going to win the division. Yeah. They're going to, unfortunately, draw one of those teams. Yeah. So now we're back to the defense. Why is the defense only ninth in points allowed so far? It looks like it should be first or second in yeah. points allowed, right? Especially with that, that, that front seven, when you got three guys, three Pro Bowl players, the back end isn't that bad. Uh, now, uh, uh, J. Joe, Jonathan Joseph yeah. is not the player he once was. No, but he's but still pretty good. Still pretty good. They How got about Honey Badger? Yeah. I mean, he's oh, Honey Badger, the, that was a big addition. That was a huge addition yeah. because he just he's always around the ball, and somehow he finds his way to get his hands on the ball. So J.J. Watt and Clowney and Merciless and my guy from Vanderbilt, Zach Cunningham, you left him out. But that's okay. Oh, stop well, it. They're everywhere. Starters from Vanderbilt are all over the league, basketball, football, baseball. Yeah. We're, we're, yeah. we're going to talk about your boy Walker Bueller in this a few seconds. This is his big night. Yeah. He'll, he'll get the Dodgers back on track tonight. Oh, my goodness. You watch. It's Vanderbilt, baseball, you. But the point is that with all that firepower, you're only ninth. What's going on with this? Is J.J. Watt overrated? I no, J.J. Watt is not overrated. Stop it. Well, how do you have J.J. Watt and Clowney coming from opposite sides and, and, and you can eliminate J.J. Watt? It's just... Well, well Clowney, if you notice, Clowney went into the tent last did. night. Yeah. And that seems to be but a he real... he seemed to be okay. Yeah, but I'm saying he spends a lot of time okay. in the tent, yeah. tent and he's not camping, yeah. so, which is not a good sign. Sometimes he camps on the quarterback. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. He, oh, he's very disruptive because, and they do him a lot of different mm -hmm. things. Skip, they'll stand him up and let him hit the A or B gap. They'll put him at left defensive end, right defensive end. They play him in a lot of different places. Mm. But I'm with you. I, I think they should be more disruptive given who they have mm -hmm. in the front seven, and it doesn't always it doesn't always surface. Mm -hmm. But they're going to be a tough out. But I still I would like I would probably pick. Chargers, Ravens, or Steelers. At least Chargers or Steelers, Steelers over the uh, Texans in the playoff game. I'm going to ride with Deshaun Watson. He's rare. He's, he's in a league of his own and in intangibles. I'm not saying he's the most wildly talented player, but when it's time to make a play and guts it out, he just always makes plays. He, and what he did to St. Nick's defense twice was just staggering to me. But the problem that you're going to have, Skip, he does hold on to the ball, which subjects him mm -hmm. to hit. And if he and he takes off with the ball, so he needs to always be cautious. He took some hit in Dallas that you can't take very many of those, Skip, and try to play a whole season. Or you won't play very long taking hits like that. I, I agree. But he stood up to it, and he hung in. I think he had cracked ribs. Mm -hmm. And what happened at the end of the game? Of course, my guys decided to punt on fourth and oh, what? Stop, Jerry. Mm -hmm. But, okay. Hold on, look at your I defense. Was good. I thought I was you good. liked your defense. I, I, I was good. Okay. But what did he do immediately? He found his guy, D-Hop, yeah. right? Yeah. Big breakaway completion, mm -hmm. right? And that yeah. was the ball game. Okay. So, Deshaun Watson, you want to talk about gutting it out? Oh, he's, he's special. He has the ability to be special. Yeah. But now, I mean, when we were talking about him last year, all that goes to Pat Mahomes. Everybody talk about Pat Mahomes, the best quarterback, 23 or under 25, whatever uh, uh, metrics or age you want to use, because he's just been so phenomenal. Well, Deshaun Watson's been good. He's been good, but he's remember, he's just slowly but surely getting his legs back under yes. him because he tore his ACL. ACL. Correct. All right. So I'm bullish on this team. This team's loaded. AFC Championship bullish? Nope. But, but I, again, a factor. They could be the best of the rest. They could end up being the third best team okay. in the AFC. Yeah, but that's not saying much. Well, the Chargers will be the third, be third best. Oh.
Uh, I thought I, you liked him to win. The, you, you picked him to that's win. That's what I'm saying. The third, I'm saying they're the third best team You're, you're right dismissing now. your Super Bowl no, no, pick no, no, as no. the third best? Right now, yes. You give up so quickly. Skip. I would never back off. First of all, they are the third best team in the AFC right now okay. currently. Well, yes. what do you think? What? They're the third best team. Well, so they're not better than Kansas City. They're not better than the Patriots so right you're, now. So you're already writing off your Super Bowl no, pick this early? Skip, the Super Bowl's in well, February. We're still in October. Exactly. Does it matter if you're third, fourth, or fifth, or sixth best right now, or do you want to be the first best once the playoff starts rolling and huh. getting to Atlanta? Because huh. I'm going to be in Atlanta. You coming? Well, I, I'll be there too, okay. but I think the <laughs> Saints and the New England Patriots will be there, and I'm not backing off, and I haven't wavered one ounce on either pick. Phillip Rivers. Yeah. You got it? Ooh. Oh, yeah. We're well, what's big... Phillip Rivers ever done in his whole career? He's got to start somewhere, he's, Skip. He's played like 28 years, Guess and he's what? still you know what? done nothing. I don't care where you are. At some point in time yep. in your life, it was the first time. Yep. Well. So guess what? Yeah. First time Phillip Rivers wins in his, what, 16th? It'll be his, what, 15, 16th season? Yep. Tom yeah. Brady did it for his first time in his first year of starting. Whew. Skip, will you stop trying to compare everybody well, to Tom Brady? It's Brady That's, a, that's an rest. anomaly. Yep. Anomaly. You made a big mistake that you're picking against Tom Brady. Ben Roethlisberger won in his second year, too. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's move on because we've got a huge NFC matchup Sunday night when the Saints travel to Minnesota.